we're trying to go live. Good evening and welcome to St. Peter's evening prayer for Wednesday, July 29th, 2020. Our service begins on page 115 of the Book of Common Prayer. Page 115. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Continuing on page 116, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are, we are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Protect you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Please join me in reciting the canticle, O Gracious Light, found at the top of page 118. O Gracious Light, the pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed for tonight is Psalm 119, verses 73 through 96, found on page 769 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us re read it responsibly by whole verse. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you be glad when they see me because I trust in your world. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your loving kindness be my comfort, as you have promised to your servant. Let your compassion come to me, that I may live for, for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame, for they wrong me with lies, that I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me, and also those who know your decrees. Let my heart be sounded in your statues, that I may be put to shame. My soul has longed for your salvation. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes have failed from watching for your promise, and I say, when will you comfort me? I have become like a leather flask in the smoke, but I have not forgotten your statutes. How much longer must I wait? When will you give judgment against those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me. They do not keep your law. All your commandments are true. Help me, for they persecute me with lies. They have almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your commandments. In your loving kindness revive me, that I may keep the decree of your mouth. O Lord, your word is everlasting. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithful remains from one generation to another. You establish the earth, and it abides. By your decree, these continue to this day, for all things are your servants. If I delight that I have not made, but in your law I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your commandments, because by them you give me life. I am yours, oh, that you would save me, for I study your commandments. Though the wicked lion wait for me to destroy me, I will apply my mind to your decrees. I see all that comes to an end but your commandment has no bounds. Continuing back on page 118. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Tonight's reading is from Matthew, chapter 27, verses 45 through 54. This is a reading from Matthew. From noon on, the darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. About three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs were also open, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those who saw him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly, this man was God's son. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let's read together the Song of Mary, found on page 119. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come again to help us to serve Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen, have seen the Savior, whom, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us proclaim the words of our faith from the Apostles' Creed on page 120. I believe, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us read Suffrages Prayer A on 121. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only you can live it straightly. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the ways of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, 
your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Let the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The College of the Day, it's proper 12, page 231. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal that we lose not the things eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Collect for Peace. Most Holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus our Savior. Amen. The Collect for Protection. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us into safety to the morning hours. Through him who died and rose again for you, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I now invite you to offer up your own prayers for intercession or thanksgiving, either aloud or in your heart. Amen. Let's recite together the general thanksgiving found on page 125. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unwitted servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation and preservation and all of the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that we truly thankful hearts may surely short with your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all your days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout the ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge for your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Please join us tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. for Compline. Good night, and may God bless.